Hello, I'm David Wesley, and I'm here as a wildlife biologist and as a fellow hunter and a conservationist to share with you some facts and concerns associated with chronic wasting disease. This malady is known on the street and in hunter circles simply as CWD. CWD is a contagious neurological disease of mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, and moose that produces small holes in the brains of the infected animals. CWD is similar to mad cow disease in cattle and scrapie in sheep. Fortunately, unlike mad cow disease, there is no evidence that CWD can be transferred to humans. My first personal experience with CWD occurred when I was a doctorate student at Colorado State University some 35 years ago. At the research facility where I was doing work on pronghorn antelope, the mule deer in the neighboring pen began to show some really peculiar symptoms. They were staggering and drooling. They showed signs of extreme thirst. Their ears drooped and their coats were rough. They maintained an unusually wide stance and were generally lethargic and listless. They went off feed and seemed, in general, to be just wasting away until they finally died. Little did I know at the time that I was witnessing the first documented case of CWD, a disease that was officially diagnosed some 10 years later thanks to the research efforts of people like Beth Williams. Let's listen to what Beth has to say on the subject. Okay, there's no evidence that chronic wasting disease is transmissible to people, and that's based on epidemiologic investigations that have been done by the public health agencies and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And they've been investigating chronic wasting disease and, and looking at the areas where CWD occurs, and they don't see any link between CWD and any disease that occurs in people. But you have to understand that um, just because we don't have any evidence doesn't mean that it's impossible for that to happen. And so because of that, um, recommendations are that people be um, prudent in how they um, handle chronic waste and disease um, uh, where they hunt. If they uh, hunt in areas where chronic waste and disease occurs, they can uh, take some simple precautions like avoiding hunting animals or, or harvesting animals that are in poor body condition or um, don't look like they're acting normally. Um, they can also have their animals tested. Um, they can avoid contact with the brain and spinal cord, which is where the highest uh, titer of the uh, agent occurs. And so there's some really easy kind of common sense things that can be done to reduce risk that we don't even know that there's a risk, but it, it pays to be prudent, I think. Today, CWD is a significant wildlife management issue that has impacted hunters, wildlife agencies, and hunting regulations. This is exactly why it is our objective to provide you with the information, knowledge, and skill to feel confident and enjoy your hunt, even in a CWD area and to help you do your part to minimize the possibility of unknowingly spreading CWD into new areas. And we're going to share important facts that all hunters need to know, including information concerning state transportation regulations. But mostly, our objective is to help you understand that this is a disease that requires that we work together to control and eliminate. Let's get started.